it's, it's however whoever plays that certain character they they have their own play style you know yeah um so all right laura and we we're talking about uh nick kelly is a character movement we're basically saying that um, he feels that Nikali is top five, and I made Nikali. And I feel mm -hmm. he's about seventh to ten. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so guys, the Saito. Uh, I don't know if you noticed. I don't know if you noticed this, but Saito, uh, he always uh, either starts out with Ryu or Karin. Yeah, One of those, and he switches it out. You know, uh, but half the time I feel like he does better with Karin. That's yeah, just me, though. I think he does too. Yeah, uh, MZX here is a new player here this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. playing Laura. Mm -hmm. Looking to get All in, right. but gets V reversal. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, good armor. That was a good read. All right. Oh, gets DP first troubles though. Oh. I, ooh. I'm surprised that was safe. That looked almost punishable. Mm -hmm. Uh, I remember on uh, the first beta, people would do like their. Um, I don't know how much Ki you played, but like uh, people would uh, with like let's say Jago, he was probably the most closest to Ryu. He would uh, people when they saw like on wake up they jumped. People would instinct mode, like so they cancel the animation and just DP. Oh, free DP right there. Yeah, Ryu. And people would do that. Do people, that. yeah, people would do that with Ryu. I've noticed in uh, day one beta. So, all right. So we got MZX here taking mm. the first round with Laura. Yeah, that cross up's so good. Ooh, could have uh, gotten something after that too, but MZX is surprisingly patient. Mm -hmm. Although he's yeah. not really showing it that much right now, but he, when I was playing him earlier, he was actually yeah. a really patient player. I believe uh, Laura's uh, that shoulder move, the light version or the medium version on that is plus on block. I believe that's the yeah. Light. I'm not One sure about two. the medium, but it, I know the light yeah. is. It may look it may look punishable, but uh, a lot of players get deceived by that move. Um, yeah, you see people like PR Rog use that move like four times oh, in yeah. a row just to piss the opponent off. Oh, yeah. Um, Laura needs to start using some of her command throws. Yeah. Okay, nice. And like the and dash here. up gimmicks and stuff like that. Like uh, she has a really a lot of like really good uh, corner uh, uh, resets. She's trying to get started here, but mm -hmm. she's just getting shoved out by Ryu. Yeah. One one move from Ryu. I think Ryu. she was looking for an ultra when yeah. she could have EX armored through the fireballs. Through the regular ones or the EX ones? Uh, any one of the fireballs, she can armor that through That has there. A, a projectile invincibility? I believe so. Or huh. uh, I'm not sure if an EX one would uh, get her, but I know that through a normal one, she'd go right through. Oh, yeah. The armor it has like uh, She has like one hit armor? Yeah. Because I don't think it'd be multiple hits. Um, I know Vega has, uh, even though he's V skill, like he can, he has upper body invincibility, like projectiles. But his EX uh, roll has a uh, projectile invincibility on it. So MZX getting in. Yeah. Looking oh, for the stun. nice. Oh, Gets wake up, grab. Oh, that was a risky uh, uppercut. That could have been a crush. That could have been. Combo, oh, which that could have been dead. Landed the stun. That could have been dead. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, tried to go for the dungeon. See right there, whenever he does that, she can use yeah. armor through every time, and it'll punish. She also still has her V trigger. Mm -hmm. I think it's just early. Like people are still like learning the game, but I think maybe like give it maybe like two two more months, and people have probably already like found everything with the game. Yeah, I've really noticed with this game the difference in people's learning ability. Yeah, um, for me like. Coming to Street Fighter because I came to Street Fighter 4 like really late to the game. Like, I had a really garbage set, but like with this game now, I feel like it's a lot easier because uh, uh, there's no more like one frame uh, uh, combos anymore. Now it's all three frames now and stuff like that. I feel like it's a lot easier. Like when you press your button, your move is actually coming out. Yeah. You know, like combos Ooh, are easy. But now. Yeah. I I still find that you can just tell the players who struggle yeah. to learn. Compared to the other players who learn very quickly, mm -hmm. like I'd say, like this is like a definite fresh for people who just want to get into Street Fighter. Now, this is a great game to get into it. You know, like it's not difficult. Like you can get into this rather really easily. So, to me, this is what Street Fighter Four should have been. Yeah, Street Fighter Four was a mess in my. You, th opinion. you think it was too clunky, or what? Uh, do you th I what was think the problem it with it? I think it was a glitch-filled mess. 
I for me I feel that um uh the whole FAAC thinks uh it was too fast. Like you had to be really quick with that, you know? Cause if like if you overdo the the dash after the FAC, you could dash again by accident, you know? I yeah. that was that was one problem for me, but um yeah. Alright. Karen's looking good here in this round. Oh yeah. That was not Ooh, a good. Ooh, nice. Yeah, she gets anti-air yeah. for her troubles there. <laughs> See, I'm nice. not sure if MZX actually knows that Laura has a command grab. Hmm. I've noticed he hasn't been doing it much, actually. Yeah. Good thing they pointed that. Out. Oh, nice. The frame trap. Laura's got a pretty decent overhead too. It's not bad. It's uh, you can. Ooh, oh, that, that was, was good. beautiful. Very, very good read by MGX yeah. there. You'd be surprised, like her overhead. It may seem like it, uh, it's very slow, but it's actually quite uh, hard to react to sometimes if you integrate it well into your combo strings. It's, so. it's something that I find that you need to um, condition Work. your yeah. opponent in. Yeah. Like if you'll notice a lot with me, I condition my opponent low a lot. Yeah. I noticed I've been doing much of the of the corner resets with Nikali's command grab. Um, it depends. Is if that I something really you're saving up or? Uh, uh not just that. <laughs> it's like if I know I can get a lot of damage and put a lot of pressure on yeah. the enemy to where like he knows, oh, if he gets hit again, he's basically gonna end the round. Yeah. Then I'll use it that way. But if I Good. if they have like mm, yeah most of their health, then I'm gonna go for a reset. Yeah. Yeah, the Nikali's reset game in the in the in the corner is really strong. It's it's really really really, really good. So, all right, yes, facing out. Ooh, I'm unsure about that. Uh, ex shoulder. It looked like she just didn't have the yeah. anti air ready and or tried maybe, to get away. Or maybe he probably just meant to to input the anti air, or maybe he just got shoulder by accident. I don't know. And MZX takes that. Nice, good matches from both players. <laughs> and if you guys want to.